Welcome to the stream. How's it going, everybody? Little turned around, Kainalu. Good song. I've been listening to it a lot lately. Anyway, we're here for some Resident Evil 4. Uh, we were streaming last night, made some decent progress. What's going on, Clark? Good to see you. Early in today. I like that. How you doing tonight? Anyway, let me get all my stuff set up here. But yeah, we made some decent progress yesterday. Uh, cleared the village area, got past the cabin that we were having issues with on the stream before that, and then we made it all the way into the castle and uh, right through the little entry parts. We're up to the point where Ashley uh, abandons Leon. <laughs> in the original game, she got captured, but uh, in this one, the uh, mental powers of Sadler took over her mind, and uh, she went briefly nuts. Tried to stab old Leon with his own knife, and then uh, once she came to her senses, she kind of freaked out and ran off, so no clue where she's at. It is another day. Yes, it is. Well, hopefully it's a good one, or hopefully it's going to be, or maybe... <laughs> Maybe it was a bad day and it's uh, almost over, but in any case, let's go ahead and get on into the game. Let's see what we get done here. Oh, you know what? I muted this. Hold up. There we go. She's lucky the knife didn't break. Oh, Leon, he's, uh... It's a tough guy in this game. What the hell is this? It's like the game is all tiny. Hold up. We've been having issues with this lately. <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> there we go. I think that should work. Let's make sure we're all fitted to the screen and everything. Okay. Let's see where we're at. I forget what this save is exactly. Got all the guns, fish. Yeah, it's looking fine, I guess. What the hell? He's a big lad. Yes, he is. Everything looks so blurry. Damn it! It went up to, went down to 1080. Here, let me bump that up a little bit. There we go, that looks a little better. Uh, it still look a little blurry, but I guess... <laughs> I guess whatever, I don't know what's going on there, it's a little weird. We came to this section before, and there was like some sort of party going on in here. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Oh, I remember what happened. I was testing some of the recording earlier. I think that's why I was at 1080 too, but I think something must have got reset there. But, um, well, nothing extreme happened, <laughs> but I needed something action oriented to test it on. So I'm like, oh, I'll just test it with this spot. But, uh, yeah, I went through and I killed all these guys. Oops. So that wasn't on stream. Just imagine that I went through and I just. I just killed everybody here. Whoa, that was pretty tough, huh, guys? Yeah. Uh, there was, like, crossbow guys up here. There was a big guy in the red. Uh, he would constantly turn some of the zealots, the acolytes, whatever they are, into the exposed Plagas variants. There was a ton of those, so I think I ended up using both of my uh, large resources, turning those into flashbangs. Uh, just because I needed something to clear them out fairly quick. But there was an ass load of these guys. Few in here. Uh, the red guy just stuck around. And we ended up killing him. But he turned into like an extra strong variant of the, the eater. <laughs> the, the worm looking one. Uh, so that took a little bit of doing. But managed to get it done. He was the one that had the lantern. 
because uh, as we saw last time, we needed a lantern to go on one of these statues in order to open this door. So that's kind of where we're at. I don't think anything else major happened. Uh, let's see. There was this, I saw this, and I guess there was a little outdoor segment in the original game right before you come up to the maze area, the garden maze, and you need to drop Ashley in through there, and then you can go in and... Normally, I think there was like several breakable pots. I guess there's a breakable box in there, a couple of them. And then there's something in the treasure chest. I forget what it was. I think it might have been the broken butterfly or some type of magnum weapon. But it was something pretty big, I think. If it wasn't that, then it was a decent treasure. But I had the feeling like it was a weapon. Anyway, it looks like there's a treasure in there. Actually, there's a treasure in this room. There it is. Alexandrite. Stop right there, Leon. Oh, Ada. Caught wind of her last time. Wouldn't make me use this. Would you? Well, after six years, that is one hell of a greeting, Ada. You don't seem surprised. Interesting. <laughs> using knives next time. Better for close encounters. Not a bad move. Very smooth. So who are you working for this time? Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town. Where's her sunglasses? How's she gonna get out of here with a flashbang? Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. You walk away now. And who knows? Maybe you'll live to meet me again. And then I might get you that greeting you were looking for. You think I'm gonna give up that easy? Right. How about we continue this discussion another time? Not exactly, uh, I don't know. Last person I thought I'd run to. Big here. of an exit as last time. <laughs> Where's the dress removed for being too provocative? Yeah, I'm sure they had their reasons. Uh, basically, yeah, they just took it out instead of the Chinese dress. We've seen her a couple times already before now, though, so. It's not like a huge surprise. Especially not for me, since I already knew that she'd be wearing a sweater. Kind of hoping that they do, like, an original outfit thing, like, pre-order deal, like they did with uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3. But, nope, I haven't gotten that. I don't know if they plan to do that eventually, but if not, I'm sure somebody will mod it in. <laughs> That's the glory of p p uh, playing these games on PC. Velvet Blue. The lithograph. Um, but, yeah, they, uh... Changed a lot of things in terms of appearances for a lot of these characters. I gotta say, the appearance doesn't bother me as much as the voice does. Um, she sounds like she's 50 sometimes. <laughs> she does not sound like a, a young, spry woman. And I want to say that she sounds different. I I think it might be a different voice actress. If not, then boy, I don't know what the hell happened, but... She got very hoarse while she was doing this recording. I don't think there's anything else in here. It looks like there's only... I don't know, there's three lithograph spots. Alright. Oh, there's a shield one. The shield one probably should have gone where the shield spot is, but yeah, alright. <laughs> Can I take them back or no? Guess not. Alright, so there's gotta be another lithograph somewhere. It's better, Leo. I need one to jump out. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Stone B. There you go. Um, let's confirm that. And that there, that there. You can even rotate these guys, huh? Now we get we got two uh Hmm. Two swords. Looks like it, Leon. Something's happening. Son of a gun. Two treasures in here. I guess they're hanging from the rafters. Let's take a look. There's a little paper up there. Oh, I hear one. There's that one. Silver token. Looked to me like there was one on the opposite side, too. Uh, that one I don't see, though. Oh, it's the drawer. That's right. All right. Need to find Ashley. Thanks for the reminder. Let's see. Illuminatus 3-2. Hear the signal echo through the mountains, rocks become gravel and the castle walls crumble. Behold the crimson shade of the night sky, a river tainted, a river of tainted blood befouls the sea. Sacrifice your life and the blood of your enemy, atone for your ancient sins. Something cool sounding back here. Oh, look at that. The Plagas coming out. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. Oh, great. Well, it's not entirely unexpected. Something had to be sneaking around here at some point, right? We just cleared a room of like 20 Illuminados. Mm, when we've been getting small keys lately, I've been trying to take them back to the nearest one, but wondering if I should save it for the one that's in like the main auditorium area. At the same time, though, we're in pretty deep, so it could be that uh, by the time we get to the main area, we might already have another key, and then coming to this one will be the pain in the ass, or it'll be outright blocked, so... I might as well just use it on the closest one. Brass pocket watch. Notice there was rats in here. Wonder if they're gonna be used for another side quest. This isn't even the merchant's castle, and he wants all the rats cleared out. Presumably. Cool. What's all those red things? Oh, it's a blocked path. I guess down at the bottom, maybe. Oh. 
break's over, I suppose. Yeah. Just hanging out here with all that commotion going on? Usually it tends to, like, stay out of the action. Selling more than buying. Let me see. A deal well struck. <laughs> Just two out of the way. Uh, the thing I can't forget about also is that even though we've still got some tune-ups we could do with a couple other things we have. Um, Knife needs care every once The while. butterfly gun. <laughs> the difference between life. Come back any time. Needs to be upgraded as well. That broken butterfly. Uh, the other thing, too, is that the charm, I got 30% off body armor repairs. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, Use that. Stranger. I was in, like, not a huge, a uh, battle. There, you best tune up your kit. I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh, no, it was in the winery. Uh, the cellar room where we fought the guy in the red robe. Uh beat all those guys. I didn't really get touched all that much, but, like, the body armor is already down somewhat significantly, so. What's up, Goomy? Goofy Gamer. Goomy. <laughs> Goofy Gamer 3. How's it going? How you doing tonight? Um, so I'm wondering if maybe I should just save it, because this is just going to burn a hole in my pocket at some point, so I might just end up saving repairs on this thing for, uh, I don't know, boss battles or big things. Lack of skill, friend. See how that I think I'm gonna do that final upgrade for the knife. Like yourself should notice. Don't get yourself killed. Don't worry about some of the other stuff later. Now <laughs> it's very funny. What are we doing? <laughs> she said meeting you once was enough. How could I miss that? You can kill them all, boy. They're coming behind me? No. See, oh, no, no, no. They're coming from the front. <laughs> Body armor's not looking great. Neither is a hell of a lot else. Uh, shit. I don't really have too much in terms of ammo. Oh, I don't have the mines out. Are they gonna go into, uh... Still don't have the mines. Jesus. They're not gonna go into the uh, the shop area. <laughs> oh, that's good. Man. So far away, I didn't even hear the explosion. Up top, but oh well. Maybe if we get up there, I'll take care of him when I'm there. Oh, this is creepy. Does real quick. Opens the immediate door and closes the other in there. There's a ladder up here, but what is. Okay, that probably goes up to the second level actually, so let's hit that. Okay, I think I see how this works. Yeah, me too. Oh! 
Oh, right? shit. <laughs> I superseded it and it just gave up, exploded in defeat. Shotgun shells. Hold up. Weird sound, and who's grunting out there? Or is that in here? Someone's making noise. Anyway, it looked like there was a treasure. Or is that further up? Guess it's further up. It was her that was making all the noise. All right, well, that's interesting. These things kind of turn into like face huggers or something. Uh, I don't remember that being a mechanic in the previous game. In the previous game, they would, you know, spawn outside the head of a random zealot or whatever, but. Um, the most that would happen is if you didn't kill them by shooting them first while they're attached to the body, then they would just break off the body and become a little spider thing that would come after you. But now it seems like they have some sort of transformative property. So, not great. Yeah. Out of the way. Anybody else want to come through? Guess not. So this drop here, I don't know where this goes though. Shit. Actually over there. Because otherwise I'll see if I could take him out via some other means. Honestly, I'm not too sure what uh, area this is supposed to be replicating. Like it kind of looked like the area that was oh, shit. Um, after <laughs> the giant uh, mechanical doll, <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's that. But it doesn't look like any of the areas that were after the garden maze either. So I'm not too sure what they're going for. Uh, let's see. I just don't know which way I want to go. There it looks like there's a treasure chest down at the bottom though. I think if I hit that door then it opens up. Or maybe not. I'm confused. Last time I hit the... Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Hit the switch before. My 
as well. Ornate necklace. Get some decent money from that one. Alright, I think I made the right choice. Generator keeping lights up. things up a little bit. are worth a full heal, so I don't know that I want to use them right now. Open that up. I'm gonna do something probably ill-advised and uh, <laughs> craft some magnum ammo. for some handgun ammo. 12 for shotgun. Oh, we picked up some uh, rifle ammunition. up here. <laughs> Carefully, Leon, don't upset them. I wonder if I could backtrack all the way. expect me to do against the giant right this second, but uh, I want to see if I could go back to the shop, actually. What's up, be known Good to see you. How you doing? Let's see if I go back to the shop, though. Potentially get a few things. This is uh, one of those... It looks like one of those boss moments that I was talking about. It might be a good idea to get my armor back up. Oh wait, I'm just going in a circle. Where am I going? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe there's not a way back after a certain point. I was going to 
to say. I need the gate open so I can reach one of those, but I don't think there was another switch. Down there, that's locked. It's like a maze, but a different maze than the maze I was thinking of. Wait a second, so how do we even get to this spot? Was there a drop or something? I don't remember. I guess it must have been up there. Shit. <laughs> now I gotta go redo this again. Damn it. <laughs> Outplayed. I think, yeah, that was a drop up there, and then that was like a point of no return. Had I known that, I probably would have gone back and see if I can haggle some stuff out, but, oops, oh well. Well, hopefully there is going to be some boxes or something I can break, get a couple of ammunition. Otherwise, it's going to be a real short boss battle. Otherwise, I guess I could reload the old save. I just have to work my way through this again. It was like this big barricade there. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a full shield or something. Shit! Shit! Struggly's got me beat. Like, how was I supposed to dodge that? stuff right now. Is anybody actually coming after me? I guess not. The guy that was coming after me, I think I hit by one of those <laughs> rocks. So, anything else in here? my mind by reorganizing some stuff real quick. There's a ladder over there, but boy, that seems a little risky. Follow me.
I'm hoping that affect both of them. going to be able to get back here. I don't have any small keys. <sighs> Unless there was one just sitting around somewhere, I guess that could have been the case. staircase. think not. Is that the name of the achievement that just popped up? <laughs> I guess if you use cannons right. uh, Open for traffic. on regular uh, Ganados. Just a couple stabs. Get it in there. I should have known. Sorry. I've had my fill of you guys. That wasn't a pun. Expected a bit more of a one-liner. You know, even if it was something as simple as, oh, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, I feel like I missed a bunch of stuff in that previous area. Looks like I probably did. But, that's alright. I kind of hope that we could go back through there. Because there's that locked cabinet and everything. Oh, here we go. All right. Well, in the original game, there wasn't that big. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that Ashley, event. You? But uh, here is the garden maze. So this still made it in. And uh, meeting Ada was actually supposed to happen after you get through here. So they put that first. You know, well, I guess the pacing needed to be broken up a little bit. Oh, got something else in there. Stylish mask, huh? 
Is that for... I think that's for Ashley. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not the type of mask I was thinking of, but alright. Fair enough. Ah. Just in time to get your stylish mask present. forward. We will beat this. Together. I don't know if I can. You can. Just give me a heads up before you stab me next time, okay? It's just thing, Leon. I can't. Leon, I... Thanks. Chapter end. All right. Good deal. Well, the little uh, run around the castle thing was exciting. Actually, it wasn't terribly long of a chapter. How long did it take us to get through that? Overkill, use a cannon, defeat a zealot, complete chapter eight. Not too much. Eh, 50 minutes, about an hour. I think usually we do about, oh, what's it, like, hour and a half to get through most of them, so. Accuracy rating's a little bit better. Luis, where are you? Sorry, I, uh, I screwed up. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. I'll show you Charming, pal. Come on, I'm in the ballroom past the courtyard. Don't be late to the dance. Can't believe that guy. Let's see what else we got here. We can't just leave him, right? Okay, let's see. Where are we? This area is connected, it looks like, to the uh, little courtyard area. Wait a second, we have Ashley with us when we're going to do the maze? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Why are you out of breath already? Take a look at some graphical things here. Everything, hmm, texture filtering. Is there like an anti-aliasing or something like that? I feel like... Things look a little rougher than they usually do. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Let me see. I'm gonna put that mask on her. There you go. Cover up that face of yours. playing this game, Clark? You've just been watching the streams. Was it you that I was talking to earlier that said you hadn't played um, any of the, the original Resident Evils? Forget now. Oh, boy. 
original uh, garden maze could be a bit of a harrowing experience, so <laughs> I ain't exactly looking forward to it in the re remake here with the hardcore mode. I'm anticipating things going south pretty fast. She was very excited about that. I guess that's what gets us into there. Was the not fun thing about the maze was the dogs and as we all know I hate dog enemies in the original they could hop through the walls though which made it especially not fun because you never do when they were gonna come out oh, one hit kill that's nice as I say it still have the same durability as the ones from the village uh, I guess I'll be keeping the shotgun out then. Also not a fan of the dogs, I'm assuming, Leon. Ah, uh, I hear one of them clockwork things. Where is it? There it is. That mask on, Ashley. I don't want to breathe in any of this dog stink. Oh, is that one of the caged ones? I wonder if they could break out. I mean, that wasn't entirely the intention. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even get hit, so that's fine by me. Uh, yeah, I was seeing if I could shoot through the bars. And then, you know, possibly take one out before they actually get out. But, you know, that worked too. <laughs> like how shocked Ashley was. Uh, slightly. Fun. Again, during the main, like when you're going through this the first time, Ashley wasn't with you. I think you could take her with you after the fact, but, you know, none of the events happened. A little surprised we don't get a codec call from uh, Salazar, either. It's one where he's talking about how sagacious as I am, <laughs> which I always thought was a weird line. About how he gets, he, even he gets lost in his own maze sometimes. Alright, handful of different paths down here. was 
is the ladder. No doubt this is going to drop another flag. I think originally it was uh, another, like, relief. Like some type, type of statue thing or discs that we were supposed to insert into something. Uh, so this is a little bit more unique. I mean, it still makes you walk through the maze. But, you know, it's not the same type of puzzle that you see a lot. Headshot too. Insert ammo into gun. You okay? Yeah. Next. I think one is still out there. Well, um, I had a plan, and it looks like it maybe kind of worked. At least it got to damage a couple of these guys. But one just kind of like popped out from behind, so that <laughs> that was the thing that messed me up there. I'm not too sure where he came from unless it was specifically supposed to be like, I don't know, rendered itself as soon as you get across there. A little unfair, but you know. sound effects in there hold this down hang on she's gonna have to do it be careful thanks Oh, here we go. Now we can finally get out of this maze. face. Alright, there's still a dog back there, but uh, <laughs> I guess, guess we'll meet it if we come across it. have to go back through that area. Oh boy, okay. I think um, we gotta route all the way back 
through the maze again. I don't think there's like a quick way back. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Probably means we got regular like Ganados to deal with by the time we uh, get to the entrance there. Oh, more dogs. I think I hear one. Let me reload real quick. Give me a sec. This one I don't even think I got a shot in. It just kind of attacked me and then ran off. Okay, that's... don't want to deal with that. <laughs> oh, this is a room we've already been into. I thought we had maybe had to go that way. Shit. Oh well. Uh... I mean, the thing is... I guess better to use a flash grenade, because last time we dealt with one of the... superior canine mutts, they, uh... What do they eat? Like three, four shotgun blasts? I was pretty damn close to it, too. God damn it. Where's my knife? Don't I have, uh... I guess I must have used them all already. Shit. Then I had a boot knife and something else, but... Maybe I had that equipped first. Now the good thing is, it looks like we've cleared all the treasures, and there's nothing I need to pick up through here anymore. We are donezo with this thing. Trace my steps, figure out where we need to go again. Another one? I hear something gooping. <laughs> She's got a designer COVID mask, yep. Actually. Oh, fell right on top of the other one. You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. Yeah, she just got mauled by a dog, but it was just for a second. So how's it going, Mythical? Good to see you. Okay, the door's opened up. Oh, let me go back in here and let's use the typewriter real quick, because, I mean, I don't know. It was probably as bad as the original maze in its own different way. But, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> oh, hey, yellow herb. Don't see too many of those too often anymore. Oh jeez, I didn't even realize this is like a bigger, a heavy grenade. Larger, more powerful hand grenade that explodes with great power. That's why it's twice the size. Oh hey, we do have a knife. We, did we pick that up recently, or what? Pretty good, just looking for some upgrades for your PC when you get paid. Nice. What are you thinking of upgrading? Got my hefty GPU, but I think you already knew that. I feel like we've had that discussion before. Actually, that way. Hmm. It goes back through the water hall. No shit. I'm trying to think. That door right there. Did we need Ashley for that door? Expanded map treasure. More storage, more likely get and get a 1,000 watt power supply unit, and I got you. Hmm. Well, I got the gap in the wall. Where's the overall goal? Guess we gotta go around for that, or 
go back through here. Maybe we need to go back to the gap in the wall. Milestone achieved. Mythical watched three consecutive streams this month and sparked a watch stream. Nice. Appreciate that. That was nice having you around. I'm curious, since we're so close to this area, if I should go back here, but... I don't have the lock drawer. Square lockbox. I think we need a key item for that that I don't have. I don't have a key for that. There's this locked door, but I don't think we needed Ashley for it, because she was in with us when we did the waterhall section, so I would have already used her. That might just be a treasure I missed. So that kind of would be the only thing I'd be able to get back there right now. Um, but, yeah, there's... Up through the wine cellar area. I guess this is just kind of like a thing if you need to do it. You feel like going back. This doesn't even look familiar to me. Oh, look. I come back through here, it looks like enemies have already respawned. That sucks. Well, I don't need to go back through there. Like I said, I think it's just like an expanded treasure map treasure that I missed, so I'm good on that for right now. If, however, I do end up finding that piece for the puzzle thing or something else, then I'll go ahead and go back. Oh, we can get some more bass. I gotta say, I wasn't sure what to think of it. I mean, they provided us with more opportunities to get, to get bass in this little pond, which is nice, but I wasn't sure that that little keychain that we got was gonna end up gonna be worth it, but not bad. Not bad. I think the only other two are large ones. I kind of don't want them eating up that much inventory space. Oh yeah, I played the original a lot. Uh, very different. This is practically a new game. I'd say, I mean, you know, the beats are there, and it's fun seeing some of the stuff get reworked, but... The whole gameplay system has changed up, and a lot of the puzzles and stuff aren't exactly the same. You know, the gameplay just feels completely different. It's like, you'll know what to expect Welcome. if you played the original, but... New for you, just in terms of, like, the story structure and, like, the beats. Everything else... I mean, it's playing all of it blind. It's, uh, it's pretty different. Money can't buy. Will that be all, then? Oh, another case upgrade. Shit. I'm gonna need that. Elegant chessboard for selling only. Got a velvet blue. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price. Got a lot of different treasures now, so I might choice. start... Like ones with the inserts. So I might start selling some of that stuff. Thank you. That there's pretty big. Enough to get the job done. Graphic-wise looks incredible. Yeah, yeah, the game's real pretty looking. I mean, a lot of the stuff with the RE engine, I think at the in one of the earlier streams, I'm like, yeah, I'm used to the oh RE engine now, but it still looks great. Shape, I assure you. Excuse me. Get some water for a second. Um, still looks great, but yeah, uh, very pretty looking game. I think... That's good work, if I do say so myself. Gotta so don't get yourself killed now. I think as far as like all the previous games, I mean I've played the most recent one that I've done from Capcom. I'm trying to think of what came out first. Had to have been Village. Yeah, I do, I do think this this looks better than uh, Village does. I already thought Village was a pretty solid looking game. Um you know what, I think I'm going to do what I said and I'll hold off on repairing the body armor for right now. We seem to be doing okay without it. I'm a craft bonus. More health recovery from green herbs, but that's just standard green herbs, I'm assuming. Actually, attachable mines. 
do the attachable lines need? It's basic ammo, right? Or basic uh, resources, small resources. I'll go ahead and do that then. Sec, this is a multi step process. There we go. They do come in handy, but I gotta, I gotta like, pick my shots with that thing. Amazing how different graphics-wise RE7 to RE4 Remake looks. I mean, yeah, that was a while ago though. RE7 was, what, 2017? Something like that? That was pretty far, far back thinking about it now. And even that game, I remember that was, I think that was the first game I played with the RE engine. Actually, yeah, that would have been it, right? Because that was the first game that implemented it. Um, so, when we had seen that, it was like, whew, <laughs> blown away. But yeah, I think going back to it now, it's probably going to show its age. I did buy Resident Evil 7 on PC with the intention of streaming it, since when I streamed that when it came out, I was playing it off the PS4, and I didn't know too much about stream settings back then so my bitrate was super low my internet probably couldn't have handled it either but um yeah things just didn't look all that great so we'll do that. i was intending on streaming it at some point again just so we could have a better looking version of that uploaded to youtube but I haven't done it yet but yeah i'm sure when we go back it won't look as impressive as it once did, unfortunately. Let's see what we can do here. I'd spend some of my uh, big gems on this one. Fifty-nine thousand. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. Yeah, we have expanded uh, tune-ups for the weapons now. Everything can go a little bit further. I wonder why that happened. Was there a... a reason? <laughs> Maybe I just didn't notice it last time. Um, hmm. I wonder what I should do then. You know, I've been kind of feeling the pressure when it comes to the ammo capacity now with some of these guns, so... Feels, like yourself should notice the difference right away. Try that on for size. Anything a comeback, any time. I think that's probably the best course of action for right now. Alright, let's go ahead and go through... We'll see about getting whatever that treasure is in the little gap part. Then I guess we gotta go do something else. Oh shit. I don't have any flashbangs. <laughs> we should go back. Coming, Ashley. <laughs> I know he sells large resources. I don't know how that enemy is going to go down, that type of enemy. And quite frankly, I don't want to know right now. <laughs> I just want to be able to get through it relatively quickly. Let's see. Oh, I don't even have the, enough gunpowder for it. Shit. Well, we'll have this for next time, I suppose. Welcome. Thinking about it, could I? I think I already bought it. Yeah. What's shit. that? Next time, buy something, eh? Hey. Don't you calm down, sir. I bought plenty from you. Uh, yeah, he sold via the trade with the spinal stuff. Um, these gunpowders, but it's not, not the case anymore. Must have slipped. <laughs> Wanna 
can come over here a little bit more. <laughs> well, um, not too bad. I can imagine when you're in a room full of those guys, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass, but... Oh, well. Oh, it's locked. This way. Hey. <laughs> I'm right here. Thanks. I see what you're doing. Uh, what was it? A knight? Um, I mean, I guess you could think of it like that, but it was a suit of armor that was uh, occupied by a Plagas parasite. Uh, in the original game, and I was told it still works, but in the original game, you could just use a flashbang and just completely decimate it in one go. But in this one, you gotta, like, shoot the where where it's peeking out from, and then... You know, I guess that gets rid of the helmet eventually, and then you just start firing on that. Uh, Salazar family chronology. Salazar family has come to an end. In order to cure Ramon's sickness, his mother Catalina invited the devil into their home. Inscribed is a brief history of the members that solidified this prestigious bloodline. First generation, Count Gregorio the Conqueror. Gregorio led his men to eradicate the evil that befell the castle. Recognized for his bravery, he was awarded the title of Count and entrusted to keep the domain sealed for generations to come. Or the demons, I guess. Second generation, Count uh, Hippolito the Sealer. With great effort, Hippolito sealed away the plague of demons that emerged from the depths of the earth. He succumbed to his wounds sustained in battle. Third generation, Count Gregorio the Architect. Driven by irrational paranoia... Gregorio squandered his vast fortune on excessive castle defenses and strange, elaborate con contraptions. <laughs> that seems to happen a lot lately, yeah? I remember that was something brought up in the um, original Resident Evil remake, and then again in 7, they're like, let's get this guy over here to put in some weird puzzles. Uh, fourth generation Count Jose Alonso, the Tranquil. Alonso endeavored to restore his family's honor. Fifth generation Count Alejandro, the Lavish. Playful at heart, Alejandro had a courtyard and ballroom erected before his untimely death. Sixth generation, Countess Maria Isabel, the lady. Alejandro's widow, Countess Isabel, had a long reign before her death at age 90. Seventh generation, Count Diego the Severe. Similar to his predecessor, Diego was exceedingly strict. He was murdered at the hands of a devil. Eighth generation, Count Ramon. His illness should have taken him. Well... I guess that's just what happens then. What's up, Ikiri? Good to see you. Whoa. Thank you for that lurk. Depraved idol. Makes it so depraved. Eerie statue made of pure gold. Oh, interesting. Wish I could take a look at it. Or maybe I can. Yes, I can. Just wanted to see what it was. It's like a horse with scales. Very strange. Okay. Well, that's the treasure. Anything else in here? Would have been a good spot to hide uh, one of the clockwork things. I wonder how much that's worth. Well, according to... The price here, it's valued at 15,000. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can follow me a little closer now. It's kind of weird having her comment on stuff you pick up. I think there's one behind me, too. Come on, Ashley. Let's see if they come through the door. Okay, you good. Hey. Shit. Not only does it use its sword, but it uses its head as well. Oh shit, it <laughs> came through. Oh no. Come on. Okay. Too far for me to get. There we go. Generation 
Hunters with them gemstones. All right, come on, Ashley. <laughs> We're getting out of here. I probably don't have to, but I think I have to to get the helmet off. Where are you going? Get back here. Ugh. Out of the way. Gross. Alright. That was interesting. I'm trying to recall where I saw more, uh, <laughs> more armor. some precise shots next time, but I don't have enough handgun ammunition to do it right now. You gonna sell that thing you got? <laughs> Why are you so concerned about it? You want it? Welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? I'll buy almost anything. I wonder if I should hang on to it. See if she says anything else about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I can still sell some of this stuff. Put some gemstones in there. Extravagant Ruby's clock. Ruby's rubbish. She makes no difference. The price, well... <laughs> Dang, it takes one of each of these big... Uh, or one of each of the gem types, and my big ones have only got one of each. So, again, I think I want to hang on to them just in case we get a treasure that takes like five or six uh, gemstones. That way I could sell big. A deal well struck. <laughs> but I do wonder what I should put. Uh, Upgrade points into actually the knife durability. Would be pretty good. Are in good hands, mate. I'll see you right. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Come back any time. A little surprised I haven't gotten any quests lately either. Like that would have been something. Something that happened at least early on in the castle, but maybe he just doesn't care. Oh, we got the we got the blue medallions. I guess that was something. Somebody's breathing heavy. Actually, a little bit surprised they're making us come back through here. Do it. The people up here. Sorry. 
Then try it again, huh? Good for you. you say <laughs> it makes him stagger which is nice but also like the stabbing when you're stabbing like that I mean I don't know if it works any less or better if you're slashing but at least with the stabs it doesn't seem to affect the durability that much I wonder if the fall damages him any. on an individual basis it might even be a little bit more effective than in the original game i mean in the original game you could down people yeah no big deal uh and then slash away at them and it was usually a good and efficient method of taking people out because you know you could save your bullets that way you didn't have to worry about uh them coming back up immediately so i mean it kind of worked but with this, you just stab them every, <laughs> like, second. It's, it's a pretty quick stab. And they'll just kind of stagger. They're not doing anything. So unless you got a crowd in front of you or behind you, someone will coming up against you at some point. Um, yeah, it's, it's effective at saving ammo. dying, huh? That's a shame. Wait a second. I'm trying to get a fix on where we need to go. We need to go out that way, but how do I go about doing that? Be a ladder out there, maybe, but I need to figure out how to get to the roof. Oh, through this thing. That's right. <laughs> Couldn't take it. over real quick probably not gonna put anything up here but you know we were getting like rocks chucked at us last time we were here so thought it wouldn't hurt
right. People on the other side there. Just check and make sure we got everything over here. like a pimple. See someone up there where the cannon was. Sorry, must have slipped. Oh, that guy's dead. Stab him in the ass. There you go. Yeah. We had a good look at this section last time. Um, hello there. He was the guy that was wandering around up top last time. Or woman, excuse me. All right, it's hard to tell unless they speak. Nearly ruined that for me. They're almost like crashed into me. An explosive barrel there. I think that's mostly just in case you're getting chased by a lot of people. But <laughs> I think uh, the, the couple that were on me before ended up getting smashed by the Elegante. Picked up a small key, did I? Oh. I mean, obviously we're going back kind of the way we came, but I don't remember there being an exit or anything from this point. Nothing different. I mean, this would just take us back to this spot, right? And doesn't really make much of a difference. So, <laughs> huh. And, but there's been enemies and stuff, so I guess that's something. Nothing else up here? fire. About how many bullets it took to kill him. At least they got it back. Also, I've expected to see the giant again. Alright, well, nothing else back there. Shit, I missed something else again? Are you kidding me? Should have been looking at the map. Oh, I'm... Uh, I forgot entirely. <laughs> We went around all that way. I forgot that it, the middle was the entrance. Now I'm remembering. This thing. This is what we were trying to unlock that whole time. But it was hard to get uh, focused on that because it sidetracked with Ashley getting um, captured and everything. So we kind of went around in a big circle for not too much reason. <laughs> I got a couple more items and stuff. But, you know, then at the same time, we were fighting a bunch of Ganados, so I don't know if it evened out or not. Uh, 
uh, we ended up getting that treasure. I guess that was nice, but I didn't need to go through that whole oh, must be this way. tower sequence. Oh, look at that. More of these things, huh? This looks a little bit more familiar. I wonder if he's going to have a uh, shooting gallery set up in here. No, not that. More blue medallions, blemish, and I want them gone. Let us show them uh, we are not afraid and that we will not stand for this. <laughs> Only here in the Grand Hall. Merchant tip next level upgrades. Got some good news, mate. Recently procured some high quality tools. Now I can do even more nasty upgrades on those weapons of yours. Make them sing even louder. For the right price, of course. Give us a shout if you're interested. That's another one of these things. You know, this is going to be like those village boxes. I'm sure we'll get a key at some point. I think that's the elevator. Where does this go? Oh, the tram. Hmm. I don't remember seeing another tram. Where's this go? Audience chamber. Ooh. Breaks over, I suppose. Well, I don't really need to. I mean, we just hit him up not that long ago. Let's take a look at the shooting gallery. Congratulations! I've prepared a new game for you. I think you like this one. Yeah, probably not, but <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, we've been getting a number of tokens lately, so let me just use these real quick. Maybe if I do, do all of these, I'm gonna attempt to use something else. Leon with handgun. Oh, 30% off knife repairs. That's nice. Don Manuel, 50% submachine gun ammo craft bonus frequency. You gonna watch me do this? Having a hard time hitting a target. It's all about positioning, mate. Changing. Three. Oh no, two, TMP. One. Begin. High score, here we go. That's the stuff. seen any of the medallions, I don't think. Keep up that pace. Ooh, this is going to be hard with the TMP to get those. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Shit. I mean, we got an A. But I don't know how I'm, gonna supposed, to, how I'm supposed to do the uh, S rank for that. Still an A rank, shit. Three out of seven, though. I wonder which ones I'm missing. I didn't see too many other medallions. I think I just saw those three. You have a knack for this, friend. Yeah, that's too bad.
Three out of three. I just missed those last couple. Damn. Is this the TMP again? Shit. up here first we got a four damn it so close like a oh that's cute <laughs> i've already done the shotgun oh damn it i missed it Damn it! Ugh. Still didn't get the last one. It's 457. We're gonna miss a couple shots. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I missed it at the beginning there. Oh well. Well, um. I enjoy how she sits there. <laughs> She's got the mask on. It looks stupid. <laughs> um, fauna display grid off. And character. Can we like get rid of the? Uh, I could put the game logo on there. Resident Evil Four. No fun frames. Not like the season's greeting one from uh, Spider Man. I could put a Capcom. <laughs> Why would you want to put the copyright in there? I understand when they put it in there just anyway. I know Square Enix does that with a lot of their games, but. Uh... Is that for the YouTube thumbnail or something? Well. I got enough to get um, some of these, a couple of these standard ones. But looks like I'm gonna need the S rank if I wanna get another rare. You really are a pro, aren't you? Thanks. I guess I enjoy how supportive she is <laughs> while she's back there, but it's weird having her in the uh, gun range. Um, oh yeah, you know what? Here, let's take off. Mask for right now. Okay, so we got, what do we get? We got the knife repair one, which I don't think I need right now, but. Which one was the knife repair? That was Leon, right? Yeah, okay, 30% off knife repairs. And we got 20% bolt craft bonus. Submachine gun bonus, 10% health recovery. Not as good as the 15% health recovery I got. I think I'm good with what we have on hand right this moment. OK, 
because I don't use the TMP and I don't uh, don't use the bolts. Craft them that much. Sort of like a last resort thing for me. But uh, yeah, so far so good. When, do we need anything here? Sell anything? Oh no. How much does that bump it up? 1.4? Eh, I wonder if that'd be worth it. Or since it's, uh. Since it's worth a little more at the base price, I wonder if it'd be worth it to wait until I at least have some of the bigger gems. This, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. It's just a two item thing. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. A deal well struck. <laughs> Alright. Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I should wait to upgrade the durability on that thing. As far as all the other upgrades go, though, I don't know. I think we're doing okay on reload speed and stuff. I can't imagine cutting it down any further would make it any of these more palatable. Eh, you know what? Rate of fire on the, <laughs> the bolt thrower might be a good idea. Okay, let's see. Oh, right there. Look, there's a statue up there. Uh, Ashley, there's a statue all over the place. I like those weird chairs in the corner. Oh, is this the chimera? Doesn't have any heads. symbol on the wall. That kind of looks like the old one. From the original game. It was like these plates that you had to fix on the wall, but this is a full-on statue now. It's kind of interesting. Rats have infested these, this section of the castle, or a section of the castle, and are gnawing away at the precious books, but those heretics couldn't care less. Please, someone get rid of those vermin before it's too late. Have it in the grand hall and the library. Exterminate all rats. Yeah. Oh well. We'll spine a lot of that. Honestly, I don't have too much that's worth trading right now. So, I don't know that... They're worth as much to me as they once were. This looks like there's a blue medallion around here somewhere. Is it on the chandelier? Oh yeah, it is. What the hell? There it goes. Maybe waste a bullet. Okay, thank you, game. Reimbursed me. Well, it looks like we got plenty of different areas to get into. Sub-objective ballroom. I guess we're still looking to meet Luis, though. That's, like, the main thing. Oh, this room. This is where we start getting into the turrets.
Oh boy, here we go. Turn into a shit storm, but I didn't know how bad it's gonna be. Drop the girl. I didn't think one of these red guys would come out. Sorry, must have slipped. Okay, hopefully that got rid of him. in terms of weapons right now. A couple grenades, I guess I could use this, I could use a bolt thrower. Ow. Trying to get moving, but Leon is so slow to start sometimes. Get a little gunpowder. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, good. A little rifle ammo. 
Oh, even better, some shotgun ammo. I've been wondering if I've uh, missed some of these potteries because they're not as uh, blatant. I mean, they still got a, a gold trim on it, but it blends in a little bit better than the wooden crates with the yellow paint plastered all over it. So, kind of thinking, have I been getting all of them lately? I don't know. Might be some that I missed. Well, it seems like around here there's been plenty, plenty of pickups, but you just kind of get cornered into a spot. Uh, some lanterns and stuff too. Yeah, see, that would have been nice. But yeah, we're just kind of in the hallway area down there. A bit more difficult to manage. Look at Miss Positive. That and I guess Ashley kept getting absconded with and assaulted, so <laughs> had to kind of stick around her, make sure she didn't get hurt. I wonder if anybody was on like the liftable path and got raised up to the center there. Find out in a sec. See if there's any more pickups here. I guess it's where they keep all the artwork. Shotgun ammo just sitting there. All right, got plenty of supplies now, so that's good. I'm gonna combine a couple of these green herbs. Let's see if I can make sense of any of the rest of this stuff. Okay. I think we're good. Hopefully we're better equipped for <laughs> one the other rooms. Uh-oh. Out of the way. Let it drop behind us, did it? Okay, good. I heard something back there. I'm like, oh shit. Are you okay? Yeah. I always ask that. I appreciate it, really, but <laughs> we're good. There we go. Let me see, how's the knife looking? It's about halfway down. I guess I'll do a little repair on it. Ooh, breaks over us. I suppose right. Suppose? Welcome. Where would it What can I do you for? What's the thing I was thinking about getting here? And I don't even remember. There's the Matilda, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. That's just a burst fire gun. And immediately when I saw a weapon there, I'm like, oh, that might be good. But I think from the little thing that we read on all the handguns, eh, maybe not. There's this. Increases the drop rate of red herbs. I mean, I guess that'd be kind of nice. But I think I like what I got right now, which is uh, increases the drop rate of gunpowder. Will that be all then? Just kind of proven to be invaluable right now. Crossing your T's, dotting your eyes, pleasant travels. Okay. So, I think there's
was a path on the upper side, but there was also one down here. Oh. No good. Maybe we have to go up and then we can get down. all the rats. Oh, this is the banquet hall. Wonder if we're gonna run into one of the blind guys here. Statue of some snakes. And we're gonna need it. There's just a cane here. It's a weird little addition. Huh. Dining hall. There's that owl again. No thanks. Order? <laughs> Guess I could. Or if someone is gonna come out and serve us. Same too, I'm getting like flashbacks. There's one rat. Are there any more paintings? Maybe we have to sit. Okay, I, I maybe Leon has to so, sit. Uh, you do a lot of missions like this? Well, yeah, but I'm not used to having such good company. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Take it however you want. Also, that's a <laughs> it's an insult to Claire. <laughs> uh, okay, so Leah needs to sit where the wine and the roll is, maybe. Two forks, a spoon, and three knives. And then she needs to sit. Wine glass, plate. One spoon, one fork, two knives. It's looking like the one for Leon. She didn't really get anything. She didn't get a roll. This is hers. Have a seat. Okay. This is silly. <laughs> hey, you did it. Looks like we figured it out. That wasn't that hard. Serpent dead. It comes out now. Nothing yet. Looks like we're still missing a piece. Just one. I think we can get it from up top here. I'm gonna walk back in here real quick and see if that rat comes out again, or if maybe that was the one I already got back here. Might just be one per room. It's an easier one, but you know, considering that last room, I'll take it. Hey, Leon, there's some armor. 
Bet you could use it like a bulletproof vest. <laughs> little old-fashioned for my taste. Mm, too bad. I think you'd look pretty dashing. And very flirty, uh, Ashley. Oh shit. Barely have any room left. That's surprising. Guess I could start using like some standard grenades, right? open. I'm sure one of them will. I wonder if we could beat it to the punch though. Hey, a small key. Night room. 16 year old flirting with a 27 year old, that'll end well. Yep. <laughs> well, he's a handsome fellow, I guess. What are you doing over here? She's just gonna watch? I mean, that's fine. Um, yeah, the night room sucked. But, only if you didn't have flash grenades. Let's see if it works this time, though. Ashley, stay up there. Okay, be careful. I'm gonna break these first. I don't know what's going on with the horses and their tails. I guess they're centaurs. Oh, I guess we need Ashley for this. All right. Well, shit's going to hit the fan once we get the lion head, so. Let's do that now. I'm just going to start with one. If we're starting with one, I'll just... Oh yeah. Well, anytime there's any knights or armor of any sort, you can kind of like see it coming, but... There are quite a few of them. <laughs>
Okay, these guys are a little more tricky because things on the back. Flash grenade just laying around over here. Did not know that. Oh, and some handgun ammo. It's a little dark in here. You can forgive me for not seeing With it. Me. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a bad one. <laughs> that one wasn't that great. You don't think they're gonna move, do you? Yeah, you never know. Cubic device. Uh. All right, so now we can start getting the um. I can start getting those little treasure things. I'll get you. There we go. I refuse to use a bullet on it. I trust the ones with the swords. See, in the original, that was a QTE event. Some of them would have their swords raised over their head. And then, once you walked right past it, then it would try to behead you, basically. So, and uh, quick in that regard. Oh, that's from the upper level. Okay, shit. Breaks over, I suppose. Well, we get this now. I'm thinking that car takes us maybe back to the beginning? I don't know. I want to go ahead and get uh, the treasure I missed up here, though. I think it's up here. I oh, know it's in this room. There we go. Good old silver token. Okay, anything else? There was a. Oh shit. I missed the blue medallion down here. I say there should have been a blue medallion somewhere because I think I only had one left. Where is it? Back here, it's like above in the next room. Damn it, if it's above, then I'm out of luck. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Oh no, I got two left. Shit. Uh, it looks like it's in the grand hall. Okay. We're good. A 
up in here, I guess. It's <laughs> just out of reach. That should right. do it. I got no clue where the rat is, though. Maybe it's in this room. Considering that I guess there was only three, right? Let me just take a quick peek and see if I hear anything. something sway in but okay so that's a treasure that might be that lantern all right I didn't hear any squeaking or squeals from any mice or rats or whatever these things are so it's probably not there I wonder where it is there was one that was kind of like in the tower uh, area where the El Gigante was but I don't think that counts. I think it said something about like the library and this main area. Let's figure if we're going back into the shop, might as well see if I can get all the requirements for both of these things. What is this? This is the courtyard, okay. So no, it looks like the grand hall and the library, I think it's what it said. All right, well, real quick, any other treasures or anything in the immediate area? I don't think so. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Well, look at you, mate. Where would it? What can I do you for? Honestly, I might as well just save up for this, because I don't think I need any of these. It's not using the TMP, not using the Red 9. Don't really need the high power scope. It wouldn't be bad to have. This would just give me extra money. Um, I don't really need the drop for large resources, at least right now. Maybe eventually. Well, don't really need the red man. herb one. So we might as well save up for another six and get a free ticket to get the ultimate upgrade for whatever weapon we want. Oh shit, the black tail's available. That hmm. cash in your pocket or your life. Oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe it was before. Yeah, because I seem to remember it says compact high performance. Okay. All right, never mind. I was getting excited for nothing. Um, yeah, the only good thing about the black tail is that it takes up less case space, which isn't... It's not, not a necessity right now, I think. Where would it come back any time? See. I'm just gonna take a quick look at this to see Welcome. if there's any upgrades that I want to put into it. Ammo capacity, reload speed. I mean that might be nice. Suit your specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Thank you. Hey, don't. Feel worth it. Get yourself welcome. Thank you. Try that on for size. Come Might be ill advised since I don't use it that often, but I mean, at the end of the castle segment, there's going to be a huge boss, so I want to make sure that I'm prepped for that. Oh, can I store ammo? That's another thing I wanted to check. Cannot. No, I can only discard it. Oh, that sucks. I want to check out and see where this car goes before we do the statue thing. You don't get car sick or anything, do you? 
you're about to find out. Hey, this is it. So this said the audience chamber. I'm thinking that's like at the front of the castle, but I guess we'll see. Ooh, an elegant crown. Just sitting in here. Oh, hey. Yep, this is the front. Also means I can get that treasure I missed, which I think. Leads back here. There it goes. Don't sound too excited, Ashley. <laughs> get my laser sight back on. Even gents. <laughs> wow, I countered. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I countered um, his knife toss or his hatchet toss or whatever that was with a grenade. Space. I was wondering if that was going to happen, and then I thought the wine room was kind of like the new version of it, but in the original game, it's in this exact area, but when you come back to this, they're like all having a good time party <laughs> or something. Um, and it looks like they're doing some kind of sacrifice. They've got an altar and there's like a slab of meat on it or something. So I'm like, I wonder if they're going to end up doing that. And then when we came up to the wine cellar, I thought that was it. But it looks like they still got it. Just the uh, statue, whatever that is. Treasure, I'm assuming. For selling all the... Dignified goddess holding scales, justice out in front. Interesting. Yeah, I do remember seeing that inside the case. I'm like, it looks like a scales of justice statue. I probably got could have gotten through that segment without as much ammo consumption, but oh well. Okay. Take a look. Something's back. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Oh. Mm -hmm. Keep my prey well battle. Struck. Oh, here we go. This is a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's five. Pleasure five gemstone. That, that crown takes five of them. That might be the most we can sell. Maybe. Let's see, it's worth 19,000 as a base price. That's pretty extensive. Well, I'm just going to lay these gemstones here right off the bat. See what kind of bonus we get. That is a 2.0 bonus, making it worth 100,000. So if I take out one of the colors, nope, it's actually worth more with the different colored gemstones. That's probably about as 
Uh, it's probably about as high as it's going to get. I mean, unless we find another treasure somewhere like maybe on the island or something. But that's pretty good right there. I might as well just sell it. Welcome. Oh, what you buying? Sell on that. Ooh, Astute I'll appraiser. Dazzled, are you? That maximum durability <laughs> upgrade for the knife. Demands no less. There you are, as you wished. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Wondering if I should think about where I'm putting this stuff, but honestly, I think like the rifles are good where they're at. And it's like, you know, you still get a decent amount of ammo for the handgun, so I might as well just put some stuff into that and then the knife and just see if I can be a little bit more conservative with my ammunition. Gold bar, that's not bad. Okay, since we're all the way back here, is there anything I need to grab? Treasures I missed. I appreciate it, Hikari. You have a good night. And, uh, probably be in your stream tomorrow, if you're streaming tomorrow, because I'm not going to be working, so be able to catch some of the early day stuff. Yep, outside of the drawer, and that over there. You know, I don't think there's really anything else we can get. <laughs> we already spent time walking through there, and I didn't even get the one thing I could have gotten. So. Oh well. I think we're going to have to miss out on it. I don't have a small key or anything I could use to get back there, so the incentive on that is lost. Come on. I'm glad they incorporated this thing. I like that Ashley and Leon have some dialogue for it too. Because in the original game, they had no dialogue. And it's not like they're commenting on it like I'd expect them to. But it's such an awkward thing just to have like this little trolley <laughs> in the castle. I just think it would be weird not to uh, comment on it. Like, what the hell is this thing? Uh, you know, they got their little funny lines or whatever. Car sick, Leon. You're about to find out. That sounds weird. Alright, time to see where this goes. Send in the blind guy. Now. Should take off the head so they can't follow her. Pretty sure this is like an exact thing that happened in uh, John Wick. Brace it. I won't run. Wait for me, Leon. Oh, this is this is gonna be a part where we play as Ashley. Well, she didn't get captured and she's not in the bindings, so I guess they had to find a way to incorporate it. She's got her own attache case. Need to find a light. Shine forward. Shine on, you crazy diamond. Painting seems familiar. I wonder if that was in the original game. It's the lady in front of the bed with nothing in it. She's not on the bed, she's just in front of it. I see the 
Salazar family made their way to the Americas at some point. At least they had that bison head shipped over to them. Don't scare me like that. Oh, I need to kill that rat. <laughs> Get that extra bonus. I was just <laughs> looking at her expression. Is that a clock? You know it's a clock. So we can't break those. Way to the hidden mausoleum, and the resting forebears answer to the chosen time. If it is the Lord's blessing you seek, have courage and fear no darkness. Just have to uh, put the lamp away, I guess. Probably would have been faster if I had gone the reverse. It's true. There's a door. I'm wondering where she's going to lose the jacket. Because obviously, similar to Leon's pictures, um, there's one that has her with the jacket and then one without. She had this stupid jacket on this whole time. It looks weird. She looks like she dresses like an old woman. <laughs> like, and like an old woman by my standards, not even like an old woman by today's. Like someone that grew up in the 50s. like a covered up suit of armor. Everything needs a key. I've seen a key for the door. There's one for the treasure chest there. What the hell? Moving forward and she was like moving backwards. That's weird. You're no darkness. Wonder if I could still toss lanterns at people. A hidden staircase? It must lead to a secret room or something. treasures are things that we can find, but I don't know. Bunch of keys. Looks like those armors are uncovered. Actually, they don't like the lights. Maybe they won't like your lantern. Ah, oh, gee, I don't know. Where's that worked? Elegant perfume bottle.
Oh god. Which one is it? Probably the one with the same pattern. Climbing up the elevator. something. No, not that. This. Librarian's note. The insignia! The key is uh, to getting out of this confounded place is a Salazar family insignia. To find it, I must venture to where that cursed armor awaits in the underground mausoleum. O oh, merciful lord, enact your righteous justice upon the wicked usurper, ma maniacal monster, Ramon Salazar. Uh, and may your blessed light, blue light, protect your forever faithful servant. Is that a blue light? Oh, hey. Might be the other side of the clock, actually. going on, Ben? Good to see you. I can usurp you any day. All right. Good to know. What the hell happened here? Uh, hastily written note. Seven and twelve. Oh, clock. Okay. That, that was a name. I thought it said Eloy or something. So much blood. Ah. <laughs> I was like, yes? It's going to do something, right? That room you were just in, Ashley. Wasn't that long ago. <laughs> this blue light? Okay, maybe not. Where, uh, where's the blue light? over here. Don't think it's coming back up. There it is. Can I just... <laughs> How am I going to slink by this thing? I just need a little more space. It's like that staircase is not... Ideal. All right, thanks. Nice and slow. Yeah, maybe not right now. Nice and slow. Let's try to get out of its sight. No. I wonder if there's a way to take it out. Get lost. All right. Oh, sorry. I was looking back. Can they get through doors? No? 
it's not seven o'clock for this one? Or maybe I had it in the wrong spot. Was there something else that was over here? I remember, what is this? There was this treasure. That was a square lockbox. Maybe that was all I needed to worry about then. Alright, now we need to get down to the mausoleum. In the original game, this led to a slide puzzle, which is everyone's favorite form of puzzle. I do wonder if they'll still do that, or if they're going to try to simplify it at all. Come on! Come on! We'll probably kind of have to go back up. It's not done with you, Ashley. So look at that. Look at this whole room. <laughs> ah. One right behind me. Didn't I just say I was done? Yeah, see? Didn't I just say that it wasn't done with you? Oh. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> right about that. Whoa. There's a blue light. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, damn it. Well, okay, hold up. I mean, if, I felt like we were just slinking by on that, but, uh... Yeah, there are those blue lights. I wonder... I just say I was done. I should have read that hint a little bit better, but I noticed it said something about the blue light. And good old Rip. Ashley can't take too much damage. I think it was a little bit better when I did it that way. Going from front to back. I didn't know it was going to happen. <laughs> Reading is for schmucks. Ah, there we go. Nice. I freeze up at the side of it. Shame I can't do anything about them, though. Eyes are still moving around. What have we here? Uh oh. Gold armor. Oh look, you can see the Plagas in there. We know that one's coming alive at some point. The heck? That's what I usually say. Well, I say the hell, but still. It's the same point across. Guess we gotta put the lantern down. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Star, moon, and another star. Maybe I'd take one of them up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I swap them? I do believe I can. I don't think Ashley likes armor very much. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Could be right about that. What sort of indicators do you feel <laughs> makes you come to that conclusion? There we go. kind of shit happens when we lift this up. No, no, don't go out. Oh, yeah. I've had enough of this. That's what I figured. Yeah, I know how to do it, thanks. Okay. Good night. Until that blue light goes out. We're being chased by armor? I don't know. It's kind of a weak excuse. Alright, don't forget, there was still the armor that was on the top floor. I used to love knights. Um, I guess I still do. I still think like a medieval armor like that, full suits of armor, looks pretty dang cool. But, um... <laughs> she doesn't look so shocked there. I used to... God, I think it was bed knobs and broomsticks. I used to watch that movie all the time. And just kind of to get to the end, because at the end... That's when you have the uh, segment where all the armor comes to life and they fight off the Nazis. Super cool. Kind of aggro them. Oh, does that not work anymore? Dark Souls. Yeah, I mean, there's a fair amount of it in there, too. Leon! Ashley, are you alright? Yeah. Give me a sec, I'll get you out. <laughs> she almost had a heart attack, but, you know, that's alright. Ooh, a key. Hey, try this. Can you make it down? I can catch you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Doesn't sound too sure about that. Ashley! Oh, it's one of the hands. Chapter end, huh? All right. That one felt like it was a little bit longer than that last one we did. Dire situation, complete chapter nine. Astute appraiser, sell a single treasure for at least 100,000. Yeah, that chapter took us almost two hours, but I guess that included a lot. 
that was the whole garden section and then me needlessly going through the tower section <laughs> and then this whole section getting the chimera and then the whole ashley thing so you know that that took up a fair amount two hours worth only one death though <laughs> yeah, she's probably as frustrated as Leon is. She just escaped. Alright, what do we need to do? There's nothing to set up for this. She's just thankful it wasn't a suit of armor. Yeah, she see, she she didn't seem as scared. <laughs> she just seemed frustrated. And this whole time we haven't seen Luis yet. So, what's become of the amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. First I was wondering if it was Wesker, but I think it's Krauser. I don't know. I was just thinking that. I'm like, there's no way that's Ada's Leon, voice actress from the Resident Evil 2 yeah. remake, right? Because she sounded way different. I've got a tip for you. But yeah, she sounds old. Like this game. In the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Hey, Ada. Ada. <sighs> Perfect. <clears throat> Same as ever. She sounds nowhere near what she looks like. I, I don't know. Uh -huh. perfume belt. Oh, yeah, that's all the stuff that uh, Ashley had, I think. Does guys drop anything? It's not. Well, now that we're playing as Leon, we can go back through that area, maybe. There's a lot of pots and stuff that we could, <laughs> like, sift through. Oh, no. Uh, I seek a brave soul willing to dispose of that monstrosity of a knight. Be warned, it is much stronger than the others. He cut down our best with a single strike. Defeat the strong threat. Mausoleum. It's probably the gold armored one, huh? What that be exactly? Ah, uh, in here. But do I have to go like through the 20 knights that were already back there? Because <laughs> that's going to be a lot of ammunition to burn through. I mean, these guys ain't pushovers, necessarily. Well, yeah, it was a very recent entry. It wasn't even that long ago, 2019 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, it would have made sense. But unless, I don't know, she's dead or she wanted too much money. <laughs> Guess they felt the not, didn't feel the need to uh, bring her back. Kind of sucks, though, because I do not really like the new one. Like I said, she just, she sounds too old for the role. As I've seen some people describe it, uh, boner killing. <laughs> Let's kill that boner right off. She looks great though. She'd look better in the uh, Chinese dress, but you can't always get what you want. Sounded like all the knights are in here. Alligator snapping turtle. I do not have any uh, rifle ammo. Uh, 
Oh no, yeah, she doesn't have that femme fatale sound that the original Ada had. She, since she's not sultry, she sounds more sulfury than anything. <laughs> she's got like a rasp to her voice, but it doesn't do her any favors. Not bad, right? Wasting my shotgun ammo like that. <laughs> what was up here? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing. Easy enough. What is this? CQBR assault rifle. Holy shit. Yeah, definitely don't got room for that. Huh. Maybe I could craft something. You know, I need some more rifle ammo. Oh. No, not that. Still don't really have a ton of space. I feel like it's gonna take a full length, like up and down wise. Oh no, I took it. <laughs> you make the room. Oh boy, okay. Oh, it does look like I could fit it. Oh shit, there's that one there. Still fit it. I can still make a fit. Don't you worry about that. You just give me a sec. There you go. Does that take what? What kind of ammo does that take? Fully automatic rifle, optimal barrel length, balances power and weight to allow for accurate shooting. It's got to be TMP ammo, right? Because I can't see it using like standard rifle ammo. That's that'd be way too expensive. That's a hell of a pickup, though. Jesus. Probably gonna suck, kind of like how they made the Red 9 suck, unfortunately. As much as I love the Red 9, in the original game, it does not equate to anything good in this one. Right here. This it is. Oh, shit. I have it equipped? Oh, no. Come on, Leon. Jump a little bit. You really gonna make me use handgun ammo for this? <sighs> it's worth it though. It was a yellow, that's the rarest gem of that type. Okay. In front of me. It blended in with the background. Let's see. That's it. Ooh, a cat. Just what I always wanted. Golden Lynx. Uh, last time we had a hunt that we had to do. I never got to that point. But yeah, last time there was a hunt, it was uh, it was a little rough. <laughs> I managed to cheese it. It was one of those dogs, and it was the dog that had the thing on its back already. So it took like extra damage. But we had to do that in the village. I managed to cheese it because you could slightly sort of sneak up on the thing and shoot at it without it reacting, which was weird, but it still worked. So, um, but initially I had attempted to take it head on and that did not work out for me. So I'm wondering what it's gonna be like in here. It looks like, I mean, at least going by this room, but they reduced the amount of armors. Because there was three or four in this room before. 
and I only had to fight two there, so kind of hope it stays that way, but I don't know what this is going to be like. should save since I did some of that stuff earlier, but well, I guess we'll find out what happens. <clears throat> Looks like it is the gold armor. stuff in there. <laughs> Rifle ammo, heavy grenade, two heavy grenades. I think this is the only armor. I wonder what the hell this is going to be like. It looks like it's like staging off for a Dark Souls fight. <laughs> I'm not really confident in this. Uh, there's two armors on the side now, too. I wonder if... We need to get the helmets off before these guys disintegrate. Time to get medieval on your ass. Ooh! Yeah, he's a quick one. Takes care of the two on the side. I need to wait until he gets into an attack. I could probably hit him from the back because this is not working out. Goddamn punch, that's for sure. Time I try to shoot it and I think I get in a position, it doesn't work. items. I wonder if a grenade would work against him. There you go. Doesn't look like it.
Every time it does this downward strike to it, uh, recovers pretty dang quick. There we go. Loading here. Let's see what I can pick up over here. Ah, got it all. Nice. Yep. I just thank you. I just ate through all my uh, health items, but other than that, I mean, could have been worse. No treasures or anything in there? It seems like. Sort of shocked with the amount of like items I was able to get just from those large vases. So that ended up working out okay. Just the health items that are kind of SOL right now, but that's all right. That's in the library. Yes. <laughs> He's happy about that. Yeah, we shot the rat. I knew there was something else. I'm like, there was something like objective base that I had to do. I just didn't remember what it was. It's the goddamn rat. I'm glad we got it on the exit, though. So that's a request done and dusty, eh? <laughs> Bet now your ass it is. Best control and the merciless knight. I got something new for you. Oh, I'm sure you do. And now we have. Oh, we have uh, the ability to buy some gunpowder oh, now. My back is killing me. Years haven't been cut. The exclusive so, upgrade ticket, though, so that's cool. A shine to? Give us a shout when you want I'll save the gunpowder for later. Uh, is that he got? Oh, he got the striker. No shit. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save you. Maybe, maybe. Uh, now we can buy small re resources, so that's good too. Um, to make heavy grenades. It's not a complete necessity, but might be nice. I don't think I'm going to buy that though. Um, the striker was really nice. I don't know. Should I sell the riot gun, I guess? I just feel like I've put so much into it. <laughs> But they say that you get almost the same amount of money back. Reduce recoil, increase rate of fire. I mean, I don't know. This one, I mean, obviously, uh, in the previous game, you know which guns are good. Usually when you buy the new ones, they typically uh, outperform. But I feel like with this game, it's always a bit of a risk. Because some of them might end up being worse off. But with the riot gun here, it was a pretty substantial upgrade over the uh whatever the regular shotgun so i guess i guess i'll sell it anything don't get yourself killed now nah. yeah let me put this away because that might come in handy i don't know if and when i'm gonna need it but i'll have it on hand but yeah i guess we'll sell the shotgun <laughs> the riot well, gun and then buy the buy the new one Golden lilies can take gems, can sell that. Ruby's all rubbish, it makes no difference. A deal well struck. 
Okay. I'll buy almost anything. Where am I looking? Here it is, Ryan Gun. <laughs> almost worth a hundred thousand. Will that be all then? You'll be shooting off some nasty fireworks in quick succession with that. Okay. Let's take a look at the tune-ups. I definitely want two power upgrades for it. It's got 12 to start off with, so that's better than what I had before. I'm guessing the rate of fire is going to be pretty damn bad. Increase ammo you have a ticket, by two. Nice. Oh, that sucks. Choose a weapon, <laughs> um... The exclusive upgrade in the original game upgraded the ammo capacity to 100 rounds. And then on top of that, in the original game, when you did an upgrade, it would automatically fill up all of your storage with ammunition. So you get it boosted up to 100 rounds, you get 100 rounds. It was like the best purchase ever. But in this one, it only upgrades by two. And you do not get that ammunition with it. It's like the suckiest thing so it's it's one of the shittier things about the the remake that and like the there knife durability have been pretty bad you i think i'm gonna do up, two power upgrades and two reload speed tanks. upgrades for right now though rate of fire i'm not too concerned about but this thing has potential let me see penetrate through five targets for that a well-tuned weapon can make up Increase attack speed for the knife. Don't really care about that. Increase rate of fire by two. Don't care about that. And maybe the exclusives ain't all that great anymore. The exclusives used to be outrageous. I'll take a look at the broken butterfly at some point, and maybe that one will be a little bit better, but... Um, what can a pleasant travel? Yeah, when you do the exclusive upgrades in the original game, I don't want to say it, like, broke the guns in that game, but... Damn near close. Why is it upside down? All right, save us a little space too, since it's not quite as big. Stupid pirate music <laughs> down in the bottom floor. All right, looking good. Um, one thing I'm curious about is in the courtyard area, was there a... I almost thought that there was one of those puzzle boxes, but I don't think there was. Just looking at this now, it doesn't look like there's a treasure emblem or anything. Alright, I think we're good to continue. Interesting gun. get to the we need to get to the top floor I know I need to get through here that's what it is now there's this big rotunda too I wonder if the big hive is gonna be in there oh, you know what I think I just answered my own question These things ain't fun, but they ain't as bad as the ones from Resident Evil 5. I don't want to go. I don't want to go through the middle. Kick that bug, Leon. Show it who's boss. I think I'm a 
remember there being a treasure going up the side path, too, instead of going through the main. I think when you go through the main, there's a particular cutscene. However, going up through the side give you the opportunity to, um... Okay. Big clock out there. Alright. Nice. <laughs> give you the opportunity to shoot down the hive, though, so... Might be worth it if we could do it again. I don't know if they'll allow it. Chronicle of Pursuit 1. In July, two years since my awakening, Master Ramon has bestowed upon me a truly righteous undertaking to improve upon the flaws of our human form, to seek perfection as observed in our arthropodal siblings. To this, I, uh, to this cause, I shall willingly devote my life. January, four years since my awakening, my efforts to transfuse uh, the black liquid into the body are the precipice of success. I wonder if that's a black liquid we saw in the water room. Uh, the womb is the key. Pure souls proves to be a highly malleable and adaptive subject. January, six years since my awakening. I've named these sacred larvae carried in the wombs of the chosen. You too, after my own and the band, uh, they shall carry the prestige of my family name as I had spawned them from my own flesh. The you too are now close to the size of adult humans. They continue to feed and multiply and have successfully created a new species. Master Ramon recognized my efforts and blessed me with his praise. He has taken the U2, calling them Novistador, meaning the unseen. I have been told that His Holiness, Lord Sadler himself, has also expressed pleasure with my work. What an extraordinary honor this is. I can hardly see the tip of my quill through the tears of joy. His humble servant, Isidro Uriat, Uriarte Talavera. Very good. Never heard that name before. Um, alright, so I guess those are the bodyguards now. El Vistadores. I don't remember them ever being called the U2. Now, there was the U3 in the original game, and that was the big, ugly-looking boss that could, like, go underground, and you had to fight it in the suspended like, cage thing. It's very strange. Alright, well, here's that big room, but I don't think I see the hive. There also isn't, like, the giant pit of death below it either, so... Things have been changed up a little bit. There's still, like, the combs and stuff on the side, but not a massive hive. Oh, there's... well, there's this. I guess there's some here and there, but... I don't get the feeling like it's something that we could shoot down. <clears throat> Bullets seem to pass right through it. I'm stuck on that thing. Oh shit. Yeah, that is quite a few. Look, they die pretty quick. Wow, Ramon, you are really slacking on your pest control. <laughs> All right, that seems, seems like something Leon would say. Seemed like there was a lot more when I was running back up to the top level.
Just a few shots there. Too many shots with these guys. First time I've been hit in a while. time. Son of a bitch. I don't think I have any health items left. I have the one health spray. Are these things going to be endless? I can't imagine. They all have, they've all had drops so far, so... They're fairly easy to kill. They're quick and they do a lot of damage. Next. It's one gate. Looks like there's two we need to do. On either side. Miss a ladder or something? Just a couple 
pickups. There's an herb at least. Ah, staircase. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I genuinely thought that was the one that was hiding. <laughs> Just a bit of rubble. There's one. They don't drop the eyes anymore, but I've seen a few that have dropped gemstones. It's kind of nice to condense it down. The eyes were a bit of a pain because um, I think there were two butterfly lanterns in the game. There might have even been three, but there was a couple of them is the point. And I don't think there was any blue eye pickups except for maybe one. The rest of them were random drops from these guys. And you know, a lot of times you wouldn't end up finding that many. Especially if you shot the hive down. Or smart about it and didn't want to go through the ordeal <laughs> of fighting the multitudes of them, like we're doing now. Mm, let me see, let me see. There is... a couple treasures. grenade too. It's nice. Oh shit. Oh, creepy music's over. Does that mean we've got all of them? Wow. I'm surprised. Also missed this. There's so many over here, it was like hard to kind of focus on anything that was kind of in this vicinity, so. There's that. Merchants over there, looks like a tram or something. I guess we get it once we go through the main doorway. Yeah, it kind of looks like it goes around or something. Treasure, but I think that's kind of where in the area where we need to go. Whoa. It's strangely dark all of a sudden. Oh, Kennedy, how much of a titan are you? Your princess is a spirited individual. I must say, she gave me a considerable amount of trouble. Oh, good. Well, not you. There we go. There's gotta be a way to lower that frog yeah, As you're lowering it. <laughs> Thanks. Not, not enough, huh? Gun ammo in case he didn't have enough. He expended all of it fighting the bugs. Ass load of paint. I you know I would have found it eventually, but seeing all that paint, it's like it couldn't be anything else. <laughs> Wait a second, we're moving too far away. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to take us. 
out of the main area. I gotta check back real quick. I know it's not terribly fun, but I just want to make sure that that area back there isn't accessible from this point. Oh, we couldn't even go through the main doors if we wanted to, so we had to go take the side path. I was just doing it automatically. So, in the original game, when you come up to this area that's like this, you can either go in through the main doors and fight a shitload of the bugs. Look at that. So at least we got that treasure. And yeah, just fight your way through them. You'll get, you know, a decent amount of rewards because as we see in like this one, they do drop a lot of stuff, so. Uh, you'll get some treasures, some eyes, hopefully some ammo and stuff, but overall it's a pain in the ass. Or, you can look outside the window and see that there's a path that you can drop onto. So then if you go take the side path, you go up, you get a little bit of a vantage point, uh, and you can see the hive in there, and then it's a big massive hive that just hangs in the middle of the room. Like, if it was this room, it'd be hanging where that chandelier is. You just aim at it, you shoot it a few times, it requires a lot of bullets. Better if you have like the broken butterfly or the rifle. Um, otherwise it's gonna take an asshole to handgun ammo. But you shoot it a number of times and then it just drops. And pretty much all the enemies are eliminated. You can go back through there, you need to, because that's how you get through to the next section. But there's not gonna be nearly as many uh, bugs to fight. Great. There's two of them. Now here's this room. bad situation. Fortunately, it seems like they're killing the <laughs> the uh, Ganados, the uh, Acolytes, Zealots, whatever. Do come up quick though. threw a shitload of zealots at me. 
It looks like most of them were wiped out. Oh no, they still keep coming. I think they're just gonna keep coming. not. Bell's already broken. I think they hit it themselves. Which sucks. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Close. <laughs> oh, yeah. Leon is sweating. <laughs> yeah, we're both in here. I'm piloting this ship. <laughs> this is pretty tense, though. I think this is a little worse. I mean, so far it hasn't been too bad. It's been kind of cool seeing them, uh, seeing them drop the zealots. There was an assload of zealots, but this is uh, <laughs> this, this is a little more intense, I think, maybe than the the original one. Why is he coming after me so fast? <laughs> Just needed the one shot. <laughs> Holy shit. That was fun. That was intense though. guys blind or something like liquors well they, they kind of operate like the liquors because uh in resident evil 2 remake they had the liquors like basically have no sense but they were in the original oh wait was it you that said you never played um i was i was wondering about that because i was asking clark that earlier but he said you never played the original resident evil 4 these guys are unique to resident evil 4 and that it's like a enemy type that i don't think ever carried over into one of the later ones but they, they don't have any eyes their eyes are sewn shut um, but they have a very acute sense of hearing, so the first time you meet one, there's like a bunch of chains in the room, and you can potentially brush up against one of the chains and cause it to jingle, and then it'll go after you. Uh, in the original game, when you get into this room, there are two bells you can use. Actually, in the original version, instead of the chains, there was a bell in that room too, and then in this version, 
Um, there's just the one bell in this room, but there were two bells in the in the original game. And you can use it to attract them to it. They'll destroy it immediately after, but you at least get like one free shot in there. But best thing to do is to get the rifle out because it's your highest damage output weapon and um, shoot them in the back with that. The first time you encounter them in this game, I felt like the room I was in was a little bit too close quarters to use the rifle. I have to pull out the scope and everything. Just didn't seem too efficient to me, so I used the shotgun. And it took a bit of doing it. It took maybe like six, seven shots, but it's like you gotta pick them right. Never played four. You have the HD port for PC and the PS4 version. You got the HD port for PC. You should get. Uh, you should go find the HD project release. That's the version I streamed this past October. Beautiful looking game. Um, and the game still holds up too. So. So it was nice to replay it in sort of a uplifted fashion. But like the original, not like this game. Ashley! Leon, stop! No! Don't come any closer! Hey, they took her jacket off. Watch out! Please. It's one of the hands! Do not resist, my dear. It serves only to make you suffer. All the words. Little <laughs> Temple of Doom going on here. You sick! Kalima! Kalima! Kalima, shock of him! This this section was a lot cooler in the original. Oh, he doesn't have the grapple hook either. Not only was this section a lot cooler in the original, but it was also funnier. That is the satisfying sound of one's death. Coming, I'm gunning. Get it done. <laughs> Sent down the pit. Gave up the ghost, huh? Could have easily climbed back up. Well, could have, but I think the point was. Um, so many in there probably wouldn't have been the best idea. Because <laughs> then you'd have to be climbing and shooting at the same time. Let's look at the hand up there. In the original, there is um, a trap door that he sends Leon flying down. And then before, this is all QTEs too, so you have to like react with it. But before he falls, there's no chain that he grabs onto. He's got a little grapple hook on his utility belt and he uses it to swing aside. And then Salazar's got a little horn down there <laughs> where he uses to hear the uh, splatter of people hitting the spikes. And then Leon sees it, immediately knows what it is. Stick in the landing. And then shoots it. <laughs> Causing Salazar to recoil in horror as he hears a gunshot sound through his little horn system there. And then they have a pithy exchange on the codec. But none of that here. No fun to be had in this game. There's no, no, no fun. It's all serious. The hell? 
think this is soon after where he sends the hand too. Where, where Salazar says he's sending his right hand after him and Leon says the infamous line of your right hand comes off. One of the many classic lines in this game, but I don't think we're getting it. Did I miss anything in there? Oh, there's something over here. I don't know where that goes, though. Oh, I think we're getting to that. I didn't even see it. What the hell was it? Fish zombie? Oh no, it's the bugs. Yeah, well, they had to keep moving the extraction point in the original. Now they just didn't send it because there was the storm and then they got in the castle, so. But uh, he had his communications blocked through the entire duration. So I don't think they could even communicate where they were until the end of the game. Right or left? I'll take the left path. Sapphire ain't bad. Doors I can't access. Black bass. Nice. That's a full heal for me. Wonder if there's more down here. I don't really want to adventure too far and set off another bug, but. If I just saw one swimming around, I'd go after it. <laughs> Got the black bass, too. Nice. Is this supposed to be the prison? Prison is such a small section in the original game. Another one dead. How long has it been since I was thrown down here? Yeah, it is the prison. Meager scraps of food provided uh, in the beginning are gone, and they don't give us more. Pains of hunger and thirst are unbearable. Most have resorted to drinking the black water. First turn was uh, Hermino. Or Herminio. He was so weak that he couldn't even walk, and then suddenly he became mad. By the time his rampage ended, two were dead. I think we shouldn't drink the dark liquid. <laughs> oh shit. Dear Abelardo uh, has passed, though he fought until the very end. The only thing I can do now is honor the bodies and pray that their souls find peace. Oh lord, why do you test us so? so uh, that does look breakable. And we saw the... Yellow herb, too, so I'll make sure you get that. Where's that treasure? There's a crown in here. No kidding. Get another opportunity to sell something for 100,000. Elegant crown. Is that it?
Good deal. You good? Oh, give me a break. Okay. Concrete, modern-looking tunnel here. Now this is starting to look like where we fight the hand. Me up for something, too. Oops, My hand orientation changed. This is definitely it. Look, there's like all the electrical equipment, too. Hmm. somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's hanging upside down. <laughs> Merchant, what are you doing? Break's over, I suppose. Suppose so. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Ornate beetle for selling only. We have the I'll blue. Buy almost anything. I might have enough to sell that uh, crown fully stacked again, too. <sighs> Guess I should do it. Oh boy. 100,000. Welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? Ruby's all rubbish, stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Almost sounded like he had a heart attack. <laughs> stranger! <laughs> that cash in your pocket or your life. Easy choice, mate. Anything. Don't get yourself killed, now. Hold up. Um. This is kind of a boss situation, so I feel like I might want to be prepped for it. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. That's good discount good on the knife repair. So discount on the body armor. I can upgrade the power of the knife. Hmm. You have a ticket, do ya? Nice. Choose a weapon, stranger, and I'll make it sick. Yeah, so far the exclusive uh, upgrades haven't seemed all that great to me. I wonder if we're getting the new rifle. I think there is a third level rifle. Even though automatic seems like you can't get much better than that. I forget what it is, though. It's like a 50 cal or something. <laughs> Uh, let's see, increase rate of fire on that one. Eh. Increase the power of the uh, bolter. I mean, I have not been using it lately. I think just because in the back of my mind, I always think, like, I need to save that. That needs to be the one where I save the ammunition for, just for the explosive bolt reasoning. But I honestly should start using it more to conserve ammunition for, like, the handgun and stuff. But sometimes I feel like I'm just scraping by with it, and sometimes I feel like I'm doing okay. Uh, let's take a look at the broken butterfly. I want to see Welcome. what sort of power upgrade we could do. Oh, okay, and I wanted to see what uh, you have a what the exclusive was. Nice. The exclusive is 100,000, but it's increased the power by 1.5, which that ain't half bad. Um, broken butterfly definitely will be useful, I feel, like with a boss battle or two, so I might... Uh, Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. 
It'll be worth it. It's got to be worth it. This the one, stranger? I think it's going to be the one. Oh, did I not have to pay for it? Oh, shit. I did not have to pay for the exclusive uh, upgrade. I thought I still had to pay for it. I thought it just unlocked the ability to do it. Because it used to be the exclusive upgrade. You had to upgrade it all the way to get it. I just thought it gave us the option to do it without... Um, without... Um, having to upgrade everything, but you still have to pay for it. But nope, don't even have to pay for it, so that's nice. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. Anything else I can help you with? Come back anytime. Still reserving it. Still gonna reserve it for the big stuff, but I'm liking where that's going. ammo for it too actually I don't know I'm still kind of holding out hope that I get a charm at some point that uh, allows me to have a higher rate of upgrade uh, or drops for when I create the ammo for it but I just don't think that's going to happen alright let's do the black bass let's do the rifle ammo because none of the rest of these are all that great well submachine gun I guess if I wanted to start using the big rifle I just don't know if I want to. I don't think I do. It is nice. Um, it's, I mean, that damage output is pretty substantial. I mean, we take a look at, where was it at? It was like 27 or something like that. And then, God, was it that high? Seems outrageous to me, actually, looking at that. Because I'm looking at the rifle. The rifle's damage is four. Let me see. Hold up. Twenty-four. Okay. Good lord. So the power on this thing. I mean, we only have so much ammunition for it, but the power on this thing is twenty-four per shot. You compare that to probably what's going to be the most powerful, which it's either going to be the shotgun. Okay, so the shotgun's at 12.6, and the rifle... Oops. The rifle's at 4, which is actually surprising. I thought it would be worth more than that. But a damage output of 24 per shot, that's, that's pretty crazy. You know. All in the perspective of all these weapons, but... Um, yeah, so we'll save that for boss battles. I'll save it for probably the boss battle with um, Salazar. I'll probably save it for the boss battle with Krauser. And then we'll see what we can save for the final one. Not much of money, huh? Anyway, I'm thinking this is going to be the hand. Um, we've been going a while. Four hours with this stream. It is fun. This game is fun. I'm enjoying it. And I think now that we've gotten past the village part, it seems like the game has a, a better flow for me. Maybe it's just that we haven't had as many uh, instances where there's been like hordes coming after us, which I guess we haven't, but that was really the killer. That was what was really halting my progress when we first started this game. But also... We've been getting a decent amount of upgrades for the weapons. It's been a lot easier to get through uh, some of this stuff when you're not expending loads and loads of ammo trying to kill, you know, a single enemy in a group of, you know, a dozen. So I think we've been making some decent progress. I feel like we're, uh, even though I'm probably spending more time uh, playing through this game, I feel like just in terms of the amount of streams we're about making the same coverage so like part one two and three and four it took me about as long it took me as many parts to get through to the same area uh in the original game so we're doing okay um but yeah there will there will be more to come but um yeah this uh this game is pretty fun i'm glad i've had time to actually play it so we'll come back to this tomorrow uh, maybe I'll even see about doing an earlier stream since that's going to be my like last free day before work starts up again. So 
I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I ain't beating it by tomorrow. That's for sure. We still got a lot of the castle to go through if they're replicating everything that was in the castle previously. Um, but yeah, it looks like doesn't look like anyone's streaming. Let me take a look right now. Oh. Unfortunately, no, nobody, nobody I know, nobody that people I know of know. <laughs> oh well. Um, God, I wish we could still host stuff. I'd just like to host a channel and not necessarily send people over and rate it. Because then I'd do something like, I don't know, only MXC or Bob Ross or something like that. Um, anyway, I think that's going to be it for tonight. So thank you guys. I appreciate you all watching. Yeah, maybe we'll do this raid anyway. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll continue this and see what more we can do. Hopefully we can finish up the castle segment, uh, next time around. But anyway, you guys have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Oh, channel doesn't accept raids. Oh, well. I eh, guess we're just ending it then. Have a good night. See you guys next time.